Hi, it's John here from GPS Training and welcome to the latest edition of FAQs. In this series of videos, I answer the most frequently asked questions we get asked from people before they buy a GPS unit or after they bought a GPS unit. And the question I'm going to be answering in this short video is, why are the Ordnance Survey maps on a Garmin GPS unit not a higher resolution? The five questions I'm going to be answering is, why have Ordnance Survey maps on a Garmin GPS unit when they now come preloaded with what's called Garmin's Topo Active Mapping? The next question I'll answer is, why do the maps go pixelated if you zoom in too far on them? The third question is, what can I do to stop this pixelation? The fourth question is, how could Garmin stop you from going in too far so it creates that pixelation? And then the final question is, should you be judging a Garmin GPS unit solely on the map quality? So the first question is, why have Ordnance Survey maps on a Garmin GPS unit in the first place, when many of them now come preloaded with what's called Garmin's topo active mapping? Sadly, if you walk in the UK, we need Ordnance Survey maps, especially if you walk in England and Wales. The problem with a preloaded topo active mapping, it just shows everything's a path. It doesn't say if it's a footpath, bridleway, or frankly, a private drive. So we need the Ordnance Survey mapping because that's they will show us the footpaths, the bridleways, the byways open to all traffic, the um, open access areas. I've got 125k mapping and all the other things we need so we can make sure in the UK that we're not trespassing. So really, we need the Ordnance Survey mapping on a Garmin GPS unit. The quest, second question is, why do the maps go pixelated when we zoom in on a Garmin GPS unit? This is because they're what's called raster maps. Raster maps are a scanned image of a map. It's just think like a photograph. It's just like putting a photograph under a microscope, zooming in, and you'll see some pixelated of it. The preloaded topoactive mapping are proper digital mapping. These are what we call vector maps. These have got lift different levels on them. So on the vector maps, on the preloaded topoactive mapping, as we zoom in, you go through different um, layers as such, and that's why it keeps that clarity. With the Ordnance Survey map, because it's just a scanned image of a paper map, as you zoom in, everything just gets bigger, and then finally it goes pixelated. So the third question is, what can I do to stop this pixelation? The simple answer is, don't zoom in as far. Okay, so we start seeing that pixelation when you're about 200 feet or 60 meters. So how do we know how far we're zoomed in? At the top of the map page, you'll see a little uh, line with, underneath it, it will say um, how far in you zoomed uh, uh, under it. If you've got a compass rose at the top of your map page, it'll be under the compass rose or any other dashboard. If not, it will be um, at the top of that map page. So if you're zoomed in at that scale, we're literally just looking a couple of hundred um, feet, actually no, we're looking a quarter of a mile ahead. So all we're looking is a quarter of a mile ahead, which is actually not that far when we're zoomed in that far. Now alternatively, I tend to zoom out to about 500 feet, which is 120 meters, and then I'm looking half a mile ahead of myself on that map page. So when I'm navigating a route or a track, I'm looking half a mile ahead on a GPS with a, a relatively small screen, which is something like a Garmin GPS Map 67. Now, if you've got a Montana 700 or larger screen GPS unit, you're looking even further ahead. And I think that's about where we need to be. So if you've got 500 feet or 120 meters on the scale at the top of the map page, we're looking half a mile ahead. And that's really how you overcome that problem. And that nicely brings us on to the fourth question is, how could Garmin stop this pixelating? It's really a simple process they could do, which is just stop you zooming in so far. Because if you think like on, a, on a normal map, a church symbol is what, six millimeters, seven millimeters uh, um, in, in, in size. What the Garmin lets you do is zoom, lets you zoom in. So the scale is actually 20 feet. So a, a church symbol could become the full size of that screen. So you're really magnifying glass. But because it's this scanned image of a map, it just goes pixelated. So what Garmin, I think, should do is put a stop on that map to stop you not having to zoom in more than that, you know, there's 200 feet at the top. So once you hit that 200 feet, it stops, and then that would overcome the problem. But the thing with Garmin is, 
This, this GPS unit is made to work with lots of different map sets from around the world. And with the greatest respect, Ordnance Survey Maps for the UK users is quite a small part of their market. So therefore, they just ignore us. Straightforward as that. That's the way it is. No, they can't really even understand how we put Ordnance Survey Maps in for the price we pay. But sadly in the UK, that's the only map set that we can utilise to understand where we should go and what should we go. So... What Garmin should do is stop you, put like a stop on it to stop you zooming in too far. But then comes on to the final question, should we be judging the GPS on the map quality? Is this actually relevant? I don't think it is, because if we're using a GPS as a moving map, we're using it as the wrong way, aren't we? So, one of the reasons I started doing what's called the Walk and Talk series on YouTube is because I got fed up of people going, oh, my GPS says I've done six miles when my friend says I've done 6.2 miles. And I'll go, and? Or, hey, the map is not very good. You know, when I'm moving across that map, I said, are we not planning the routes and put them onto the GPS unit and get it to navigate you around? Because it's a navigational tool, it's not a moving map. And people go, I don't use a GPS in that way. If you're not using the GPS in that way, for me, it's like having a car sat nav and not putting a postcode. It's like having a car sat nav and getting my wife to look at the screen to tell me to turn left and right, because that's how we used to use our old paper road atlas before car sat navs got in the, on the, um, on, on, came into, into cars. So let's go back to the car sat, car sat nav analogy, which is, I don't get in your car and go, buy your maps are far better quality than mine is. I get in my car or your car and look at that, we're gonna turn left in 3.6 miles. And that's how we should be using a GPS unit. We should be planning our route on our, either our free OS route planning software, which is actually higher resolution than Garmin's, but we won't go there, or in Garmin Basecamp, transferring the route onto the outdoor GPS units. And then we should be navigating the route. And think of the map as just an image in the background that tells when we cross a river, what the river's called, as we come into the village, what the village is called. And a lot of the time you can then zoom out, got nice map quality as we navigate around that route. I totally take on board. If we come into an urban environment through a village or a town, yeah, we need to zoom in a little bit more to get that, um, that detail that we need. But we shouldn't be zooming in any more than 200 feet, uh, 60 meters. So that's one of the reasons I started the walk and talk show is to show people what the final navigation experience is of a Garmin GPS unit, rather than switching on and judging it on the map page. I very much hope this has helped and answers some of the questions that we get asked about the screen resolution or the resolution of the maps rather on a Garmin Outdoor GPS unit. If you get any other questions you'd like me to answer in future FAQs, please don't hesitate to get in touch. And as always, not only from myself, but all the team here at GPS Training, many thanks for your continued support. And again, many thanks for watching. It's massively appreciated.